drugstore and affordable makeup today for you to see all kinds of new goodness. Let's get into the video so we can see the makeup that I found very recently. Hi friends, I am so glad that you're here with me today because we're talking about one of our favorite subjects, which is affordable makeup and drugstore makeup. And the reason that I put that in two different ways, affordable makeup and drugstore makeup, is because I do have some makeup that I you can't just go in and buy at the drugstore. There are a few things in here that you might be able to get on Amazon. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you for being here with me, and I wanna tell you that I'm trying really hard to get to 100,000, so if you're somebody that hasn't sub subscribed to my channel before, please make sure that you do and help me make that goal. I would really appreciate it. Also, I like to tell everyone that I have a numbering system, and that numbering system is where I will put a number right up here in the corner from one to however many products that I am using today. And you won't have to remember the product that I'm talking about. You just have to remember that number or jot it down. Go down into the description box, open it up. Next to the number that you've jotted down will be the product and the link, and you can shop that way if you like to. I also like to talk about my shirt that I have. I'll show you a full length of me with it on right here. This is a really fun shirt. I really have enjoyed it. It does have the cold shoulder right here. It's pretty lightweight fabric, and it's quite stretchy which is really nice i also wear a large in it and it fits true to size i love that has a cute bell sleeve on it and it just has some fun detailing that is a little bit different than what you normally get so i will make sure i link that i also will make sure that i link my earrings my goodness i have been finding the cutest jewelry on amazon lately and i've just been going crazy of finding it now these have the front piece right here which is the circles and the paper clip and then behind on the actual fastener it also has this little circle that goes down on a chain so dang cute i will also list my necklaces so that you can see that this is a set right here this one and this one with my initial on it and then this one was separate okay let's get into seeing what i found at the drugstore that i'm pretty excited about let's start out with one that i was really kind of like i don't even know if i want to get that but boy am i glad that i that i did this is the wonder stick from nyx they have reformulated this. They had these a long time ago. They now have a blush version of this, but this one is the contour and the highlighter. I have mine in light medium and both sides are great. I really like them a lot. Now the contour is a great contour because it has that muddy property to it that we talk about all the time on my channel. It's super easy to blend. It's what I'm wearing today, but it stays on and grips really well too. I just think it's so great. And then the highlighter side is every bit as nice. They have just reformulated this to be something that is really very wearable and very easy to work with. I usually put the contour onto, well, both of them. I put them onto a brush and then I'll go ahead and buff it around because I, once I draw on my face, I always find that I just have to work harder at, you know, blending everything out. So this is just a great new product and I'm really excited about it. We're going to stick with that theme of contours and and uh, highlighters because I told you that I was going to delve a little bit more into folk folklore and I found these highlighter combo stick duos. They come together, which is good. This one is their very lightest one. This is fair. This might be just a little bit more on the cool gray side, just so you know that. So this one is fair. And then um, here is the highlighter that corresponds with it. These do have separate names on them. However, I don't worry about that because they really just come um, when you're on the website in fair, fair light, no, wait, fair, light, medium, that kind of thing. So that is the fair pair, fair pair. And then this next one is the light medium pair. It almost looks identical to the one from NYX. Now, I will say that I feel like the NYX one is this tiny bit creamier than these are. However, when you get something like this that is not quite as creamy, you do get the long wear out of it more, a little bit. So this is the light medium in Folklore. That's the fair or the light in Folklore. And then this one is from NYX. And you know me, I'm a contour junkie. So these are all great and I could recommend any of them. All right, let's just stick right here with highlighter because I have a few of them. Now from Undone Beauty, they have their highlighter. These sticks are very 
cooling. They're very almost watery. They're pretty, but they, some of them don't work that well. Like the blush doesn't work that well. The contour doesn't work that well for me. Now what this blush does, or I'm not blush, highlight. What this highlight does, it goes on and you can see that it looks fairly high beam, but it's almost like a clear glass-like product. There's not a lot of color in there. So you're not getting like a white or a pink or a champagne at all. You're just getting that um, that feel of the very creamy, watery-like product. And it takes a while for that one to dry down. I do like this, and I like it underneath um, cream blush. I find that it takes just a little while to set down, but once it sets down, it's there and it's really good. And then another highlighter product, and I've been I've been asked a lot to review this one. This one is from Flower Beauty. Now let me tell you what color this is. These are the ones that are the dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand. And let's see, Spotlight Liquid Highlighter, and this one is in Opal. Now, I will tell you that I do feel like Charlotte Tilbury's is a little bit easier to work with. This is, this doesn't dry down as fast as Charlotte Tilbury's. It just, it's really close a dupe. I mean, very, very close to a dupe. And I would say that um, I think that it is Charlotte Tilbury's Spotlight or else her Pillow Talk that's very close to this in the color. But if you've been feigning over the Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like this is a fantastic substitute for it. Don't worry about grabbing that. These are every bit as good. And once they dry down again, they dry down all the way. It is what I'm wearing underneath my blush today um, on this side. So just think that that is really pretty. And by the way, on this side, I I was wearing the Undone Beauty underneath my blush. All right, next I have talked about these once on my channel before, but I wanted to talk about them again because when I showed it before, I only showed the big one. Now this is the Eco Tool Tools Bio Blender and right on it, it says plant me. <laughs> which is so weird, but I have this trio. It comes in a trio. I love using this little tiny one for this, you know, right around the concealer. And then the big one works great, obviously, for foundation and powder. And then I actually um, have used this one once. Um, that's why it's so clean. I've used it once to do some cream contour. So these are completely biodegradable. And when you wash them, what's interesting is you'll see that pink come out. And you can probably tell, maybe you can't, um, there's a difference in the color in this one and this one because I've washed this little one so many more times And so that pink color kind of fades as you're washing them But you can put these in the ground and they will degrade and they will completely dissolve in the ground Whereas the beauty blender or the beauty sponges that we're using now Those are made of a form of plastic and so those are going to take forever to degrade So this is kind of a nice way to you know think about the environment and how it's you know the things we're using and whatnot but this these come in a set of three. I love how soft these are and how good they do on blending I yeah, i'm really i've really fallen in love with those Then I wanted to share with you these two blushes now. I know I don't know which one i've shared I've shared before I think it's this one and this is called eclipse and the color of it Let's get the glasses. The color of it is is in korean. So I can't read that So sorry about that. But this one right here is called powder powder blush on this says it's talc and paraben free this is called radiant orchid this is the one that i have on for my blush today and i fell in love with this when i was using it it's just was such a pretty color and i love using orchid on my cheeks anyway because i think that it just really brightens up orchid or you know some sort of a lilac purple i just think that it really brightens up your look this is a beautiful one that you can use as a shadow too and i then i thought that about this one as well now i will say that this one is a little bit smoother, but this is a lot lighter than the other one. Look how much lighter that is. So you could use this one definitely as an eyeshadow. If you're the fairest of the fair, you can use it. Both of these come in different colors, so you don't have to just stick with that orchid color. But I've been really into that orchid kind of blush, especially since uh, the Dior blush came back in and I do have that. So I'll probably th be throwing one of these in a dupes video too. But these are beautiful blushes. They are powder. But um, like I said, this one is a little bit creamier. The light one is a little bit creamier, but they're both really good. And this one that I've had on for the better part of the day, just beautiful blushes. 
All right, from Collab Beauty, I found their highlighting stick. This is the Lift and Glow Highlighting Brow Stick. And I wanted to try this because you guys know that I have that overwhelming fetish with the Benefit Highbrow. And now they have the glow on one side and then the matte on the other side of that. And I like that very much, but this one is a little bit different. That one that I buy from them is very pink. This one is more of just kind of a kind of a beige color, a lightened white color, or, you know, a bright white color, and this is really pretty. I like the texture of it. It is a little bit, it's not quite as creamy as the Benefit one, but I do feel like that works in your favor in the end, because what this does is it stays on longer, because, you know, when a product's super creamy, it's going to come off. I always use one of these on my brow bone, you know, right after I do my eyeshadow, I'll just really lightly paint on, um, on my, you know, right there on my brow bone underneath my eyebrow to lift that, and then I'll just buff it with my finger a little bit, and this one has been great for doing that. And by the way, everything that I'm talking about today is on my face, except for the million different kinds of highlighter and the contour and highlighter products that I showed you. I also are, am really enjoying, now Pixie just sent me a bunch of products, but I'm really enjoying this um, Pixie by Petra Lash Booster Mascara. This has good ingredients in it, but it also does a really good job of separating and, you know, helping my lashes to stay up. And that's kind of what my problem has been lately. I'll curl my, my lashes, I'll put on my mascara, and it'll fall down. I've been enjoying this one for helping to keep them, you know, look a little bit curled because when they're up, they look a little bit longer. So let me show you the wand on this. It is um, a really kind of unassuming wand. It's a kind of a natural bristle br brush instead of the silicone brush. I like it very much. It doesn't clump. It seems to separate very well. When I do my first coat, I'm trying to get way down there at the base and get as much volume as I can and separate a lot. And then when I do my second coat, then I'm trying to get the length on it. And this does a really great job on that as well. So I love a mascara that does pulls double duty instead of having to pull out another mascara for your lengthening. This one seems to be doing really well. Um, it, I will say that, you know, after you've worn this like 14 hours, if you wear your makeup that long, it does flake a little bit at the end of the day, but no smudging or anything like that. So really I'm enjoying that one. And then I also wanted to share this um, diamond mascara, and this is just their clear one. This is from Physicians Formula. And I actually never have used clear gel mascaras for my eyebrows or anything like that. I actually haven't used this one for that either, but I'll tell you what I have been using it for. And um, it's really great because this is what it said that you could do with it too. And that is, see those little baby hairs of mine right there? I have a ton of them. And so I will just take this and just very lightly try to get those in tow a little bit because they're everywhere. They go every which way. And I just put a little bit of that on there without too much, because if you get too much, it's going to be, you know, like a mascara in your hair and you don't want to do that. But I've been really liking that to lay those baby hairs down. Would have never thought about that, but it was right on the packaging. And so that's what I've been using that for. And then I was in, on Target's website and I found the Jason Wu Eye Primer. And let me make sure what color I have. I have the O2 Light and I am really enjoying this. Now you guys know that my ride or die has been Anastasia Beverly Hills and I still like that so much, but this one is a close second. The thing about it is I don't think that they are very different in price and I don't think that you get a a whole lot of different products. So if you can't get the Jason Wu or you can't get the Anastasia, these are very interchangeable. And I felt like this is a great dupe for my Anastasia. You might get a little bit more in this tube, but I think it's a little bit more expensive too. So you might be doing a trade off there, but they both hold on the eyeshadow. They both brighten your eyeshadow, make it more vibrant. And yeah, I was really pleased to find something because I haven't been able to recommend any other eyeshadow primers to you guys in such a long time. Last product is this right here. And I don't remember where I heard about this from. It might have probably been on some sort of Instagram story or something. But this is a separator or a lash comb, an eyelash comb. So I like that it's rounded and hopefully you'll be able to see that it's rounded right here. A lot of them are just straight. I have a straight one that I've been using for years, which I really like, but this one is rounded. Now, please be careful when you use these because they are meant 
to have the little spikies on the end there to go up in and separate the lashes because if they were blunt, they wouldn't do that. They'd just clump the lashes together. But this one is nice because it's rounded so you can go up in there and get the clumps out of your mascara and you know it's not gonna you're not gonna have to worry about poking yourself in the eye too much plus with my trimmer in my hands this actually helps a lot too and i just lied to you when i said that that was the last product because this is the last product and i'm really excited about this one this is a dual-sided brush that you can get on amazon and it is for highlighter and contour or highlighter and blush whichever one you want to use this is so soft and so lovely it reminds me so much of the hourglass one that i paid a ton of money for it's got the nice ferrule on it the nice handle on it it also has the rose gold accent and then the two-tone on it this is really good the the um, angle one it's really good for doing contour and your blush if you need to and then this one of course for your highlighter and this one is also pretty good if you want to use it to set down just a little bit of powder underneath your eyes very soft but i like that they're a little bit more dense um, than the one that i have from hourglass so this one just is a little bit more of a workhorse in that you can contour blush highlight with it whereas the other one is just more of uh, like powder and you're going to really be blending with it a little bit more you can still blend with this one really well but it just seems to be able to do a little bit more of a precision work especially if you pinch that and you did your contour a little bit so i've been loving that as well i think i lied again because I have another product that I forgot to tell you about. Physicians Formula sent me this powder uh, at the same time that they sent me the diamond um, mascara or gel that I just showed you in my hair. This one is the Butter Believe It face powder and it just says creamy natural on it and I will show it to you. I used it this morning so the powder is kind of all over but it has the gradient colors right there and I love this. Now if you are adverse to any fragrance in your makeup skip this because it has the typical uh butter bronzer smell to it that coconutty vanilla y smell skip it over because you won't be able to handle it but it has a nice mirror in it on the bottom and then it has this um, very useless brush that we have down there but I like this because the powder is very, very soft. Now, I will say that you need to go with a light hand. You know, if you're somebody that is dry, use a little bit of a light hand because this could possibly get a little bit cakey on you. But if you are anybody that gets that breakthrough during the summer months or you get to sweating a lot during the summer months, this has been so nice. Now, hot flashes are getting me this year, so I'm using a little bit more powder than I'm used to, and this one is great to throw in my purse because, you know, if I need the lighter or the deeper, depending on the day and how the self-tanning is going, use one of my little powder puffs and, you know, just touch up my makeup and get some of that oily or the sweatiness down that I get, and this is really a nice buttery powder. It is up there with all of their butter products. It's just a really beautiful powder, but like like I said it does have that fragrance so you know heads up on that one all right now I think I'm done and I won't you know I'm not lying to you anymore so <laughs> thank you so much for being with me today and I appreciate you all being here please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here if you do like seeing all about drugstore I know that I do I love seeing and testing new drugstore makeup and seeing how it compares to the high-end stuff it just makes me so happy right now I'm gonna throw up another video right here for you to watch probably on more drugstore products so I hope that you do get a chance to go over there click on it and enjoy that i hope you all are happy healthy doing very well i love you my friends please take care of yourselves see you in my next video goodbye